Ever found yourself wondering why gravity has the power to slow down time? It's a question as old as the cosmos itself, yet it's a concept that continues to baffle the brightest minds on our planet. Gravity, as we understand it, is a force of attraction. It's this invisible tether that binds us to the Earth, the same force that keeps the moon locked in its celestial dance around our planet, and the power that holds the galaxies together. This fundamental force of the universe pulls two objects towards each other. The closer they are, the stronger the pull, and the more massive they are, the greater the attraction. But here's where it gets interesting. This unassuming force, gravity, has a fascinating side effect. It can slow down time. Yes, you heard that right. Time, that constant tick-tock that drives our lives, can be manipulated by something as commonplace as gravity. This mind-boggling concept is a brainchild of one of the most brilliant minds in human history, Albert Einstein. In his general theory of relativity put forth in the early part of the 20th century, Einstein proposed a radical idea. Gravity isn't just a force, it's a warping, a bending, of space and time. Imagine a rubber sheet stretched tight, place a heavy ball at the center and it dips, distorting the sheet around it. That's essentially what gravity does to space-time. The more massive an object, the deeper the dent it makes in the fabric of space-time, and the stronger the gravitational pull it exerts. And within this curvature of space-time, time itself can slow down. But how does all this work? How does gravity manage to put the brakes on time? And what are the implications of this cosmic phenomenon? It's a complex puzzle. A mystery wrapped in layers of scientific theories, mathematical equations, and philosophical debates. So let's dive into the depths of this cosmic mystery. It's a journey that will take us from the familiar pull of Earth's gravity to the edge of black holes, where the rules of space and time are stretched to their limits. Buckle up, it's going to be a fascinating ride. Time, as we perceive it, is a linear progression of moments, one after the other. Yet this perception of time is largely a product of our human consciousness, our cognitive processes, and the physical construct of the world around us. Let's break this down a bit. When we talk about time, we're typically referring to a measurement. Seconds, minutes, hours, days, years. These are units we use to quantify the passing of time, to make sense of our experiences and our existence. This is what we might call clock time. However, time in its true essence is far more elusive and complex. At its core, time is a relative concept. This means that it does not exist as a standalone entity, but rather, it is intertwined with space, forming a four-dimensional framework known as space-time. This concept, introduced by Albert Einstein in his theory of relativity, suggests that time can be distorted by factors such as speed and gravity. Now, imagine you're on a speeding train. To you, inside the train, time seems to be passing normally, but to someone standing on the platform, your watch might appear to be running slow. This hypothetical scenario is an example of time dilation where time can stretch or shrink depending on the observer's frame of reference. Similarly, the force of gravity can also distort time. The stronger the gravity, the slower time passes. This is why time runs slightly slower for someone standing at sea level where gravity is stronger compared to someone at the top of a mountain where gravity is weaker. So, our perception of time, as a linear and constant flow, is simply an illusion. Time in reality is flexible and malleable, bending and stretching in response to the forces acting upon it. Thus, time is not as rigid and constant as it may seem to our daily experiences. Now, let's unravel the mystery of gravity. Gravity, a word we're all familiar with, but what does it truly mean? It's the unseen force that keeps us grounded, literally. It's what makes an apple fall from a tree and why we don't float off into space. But as per Einstein's general theory of relativity, gravity is not just a force, it's much more complex and fascinating. Imagine you're standing on a trampoline. Your weight creates a dip, a curvature in the trampoline surface. Now, if you roll a ball near you, it will naturally move towards you, following the curvature you've created. This is a simplified way to visualize gravity. Space-time is like the trampoline and massive objects like planets and stars are like you standing on it. They create a kind of dent in space-time, and other objects move along the curves of this dent. This is why Einstein suggested that gravity is not a force in the traditional sense. Instead, he proposed that gravity is the curvature of space-time caused by mass and energy. It's not that the Earth is pulling us down, 
it's that it's bending space-time around us and we're just following the curve. Just as a ball moves differently depending on the shape of the trampoline, so does time. The stronger the gravitational field, the more space-time gets curved and the slower time moves. This is why time runs a tad slower for your feet than your head. It's mind-boggling, isn't it? But that's the beauty of science. It continually challenges our understanding, pushing us to see beyond the obvious. So, next time when you feel your feet firmly planted on the ground, remember, it's not just an invisible force pulling you down, it's the entire universe, bending and twisting in response to mass and energy, creating the phenomenon we know as gravity. Therefore, gravity is much more than just a force pulling us towards the Earth. Now that we have a basic understanding of both time and gravity, let's see what happens when these two meet. Imagine having a clock at sea level, and another clock atop a mountain. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, the clock closer to the Earth, where gravity is stronger, would tick slower than the clock on the mountain. This isn't just theoretical, it's been proven by experiments. This phenomenon, where time seems to slow down in stronger gravitational fields, is called gravitational time dilation. It's a fundamental part of our universe, as inescapable as the pull of gravity itself. This theory tells us that the very fabric of time itself is malleable and can be stretched and twisted by the force of gravity, but how does this happen? It's all down to the way gravity interacts with space-time. Gravity, as Einstein explained, is the curvature of space-time caused by mass and energy. So, a massive object like Earth distorts the space and time around it, creating a sort of gravitational well. Time, as it turns out, is affected by this distortion. It's a bit like a river flowing down a mountain. Near the top where the slope is steep, the river flows fast, but as it reaches the flatter plains below, it slows down. Similarly, time flows slower in stronger gravitational fields and faster in weaker ones. In the grand cosmic ballet, gravity and time are intimately connected. They are partners, each influencing the other in a complex dance that shapes the universe as we know it. The stronger the gravitational field, the slower time seems to pass. And this isn't just abstract physics. It has real implications for everything from GPS systems to interstellar travel. So the next time you find yourself wishing for more time, just remember, move to a higher altitude where gravity is slightly weaker, and you'll get your wish, at least according to Einstein. In effect, gravity has the ability to slow down time. Still finding it hard to believe? Let's bring this concept back to our day-to-day -day life. In our everyday lives, we may not notice the effects of time dilation due to gravity as they are minuscule at the scale of human experience. However, there are real-world implications that show us the reality of this phenomenon. Let's take the Global Positioning System, or GPS for short, as an example. These systems rely on precise timing from satellites orbiting the Earth to provide location data. But here's the catch. These satellites are further away from the Earth's gravitational pull than we are. This means that time moves slightly faster for them than it does for us. To put it in perspective, if we did not account for this time dilation effect, GPS locations could be off by several kilometers. That's right, the reason your GPS can accurately guide you to your favorite coffee shop is because scientists have factored in the effects of gravity on time. A simple yet powerful testament to Einstein's theory of relativity in action. Now, let's venture beyond our planet. Astronauts in space also experience time dilation due to gravity, albeit in a slightly different manner. When astronauts return from space missions, they are effectively younger than they would have been if they stayed on Earth. Although the difference is merely a few milliseconds, it is a fascinating illustration of the effect of gravity on time. In a sense, gravity is not just a force that keeps us grounded, but a cosmic clock regulator subtly influencing the pace of time. It's a concept that stretches our understanding and challenges our perception of reality. So, the next time you look at your watch, remember, time is not as simple as it ticks.